Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 10 beta 6 is out to developers along with watchOS 10 public beta 4 as well. This was released alongside the regular round of updates with iOS 17 beta 6 and public beta 4 along with iPadOS, tvOS and HomePodOS updates as well. However, there's no macOS 14 Sonoma beta just yet. That may be coming next week as we may still be on a two week cycle with that. This update came in at a fairly small 327 megabytes that's on my Apple Watch Ultra that can vary depending on device though. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to our settings. Within settings, if we go down to general, under general, go to about, you can see the build number is 21R5341C. That just lets you know that you're on the latest version of the beta updates. As we get closer to a final release, we get closer to the letter A, and then we have a release candidate and then the public release. As far as new features, well, one thing we saw in the code with beta five is name drop. That's still not here where we could bring our phone close together and it would actually bring over our contacts from someone else. You can see what this sort of looks like if we go back home and go over to Twitter, you'll see there's an animation he found where he posted with beta five that shows bringing it together with an iPhone or Apple watch. This is something we'll be able to do in the future, but still is not yet active. As far as new features, well, if we go into music here, so we'll just go into the music app and let me grab my AirPods. And within music, if we go into maybe a song, connect them to our AirPods. So I'll just take one out, place it in my ear and let it connect here. It will take a moment. And when it begins to play, it actually gives more information, has some cleaner album art. And then of course you can just zoom into it. Depending on which album you're playing, you may see more information and more details, but it's a little bit nicer laid out and looks a little bit different. The other feature we have has to do with theater mode. And thanks to my friend Brom for pointing this out. If we go into theater mode, the overall animation is a little bit different. So if we put that on, shut off our watch, go back into it, of course we can go right in, but the overall animation is a little bit different there. You can see that when we activate it and deactivate it. So it's nice that they've just updated that graphically. If we go and edit our watch face and slide over here, you'll see that we have a new color for palette. If we go into that, you'll see it changes based on where the actual dial is on the screen. But if we go back out, my friend Steve Mosher pointed out, you can see here that updates have been made to wherever system wallpapers are shown, including for Apple watch. So they've updated this and this is also used for diagnostics according to Aaron P 613. And again, you can see his update here. So this has been updated. It's the same watch face and I believe they've changed it here as well. Now, if we go into the Snoopy watch face, there's some new animations there. Also, Apple keeps updating this with whoever they're working on with these Snoopy watch faces. But if we just wait for it to go to sleep here and then wake it back up and then we go back through, it sometimes takes a while to go through and see those new animations. So you have to go through quite a few to actually get those to show up. So again, you'll see there's quite a few, probably over 20 of them at this point. You just have to keep waking up the watch to see all of the new animations. So a lot of nice little watch face changes. Of course, you can continue to go through all of these. This one, I don't think I've seen before, but it may not be new as there's so many of them here that you don't really get the same one in about 20 different tries. So like I said, there could be 20, maybe 30 of them at this point. You can just keep turning it off, turning it back on, and you'll see a new animation almost every single time. So again, let's do that one more time. And you can see, we've seen that one before. Let's see if we see any other one. I particularly like the one where he's surfing on a wave. So go back in. And I don't see that one yet. We've already seen the one with the skateboard. So lots of nice changes as far as the watch faces go. There's also one bug I wanted to mention. Now there hasn't been a whole lot of bugs in watchOS 10 beta six or any of the others that was a little bit slow there for some reason, but in general, there's one bug. If you unpair your watch with your iPhone and then repair it to your iPhone, I've seen some people say that their stock apps no longer load or install. So that could be an issue if you're trying to unpair and repair, but make sure if you do that, that you're pairing it with iOS 17 beta six or public beta four, you'll need that to have all of the latest features and updates. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of other bugs in it though. As far as battery life, you'll see I'm at 72%. Now this has been off the charger for a little while now, probably a few hours at this point. And I think battery seems to be a little bit better than beta five so far. It's getting me through the day with much more charge at the end of the day. So it seems a little bit better. And we're seeing that on iOS 17 beta six as well. And I'll talk more about that on the weekend with the regular follow-up video. But if we go back into settings, go over to 
our battery here, we can take a closer look, go into battery, and we'll see if battery health has dropped at all. So you can see there, we had it off the charger at about 6 p.m., and then it's dropped down since then. So it's actually doing pretty well. And if we go into battery health, battery health is, last I checked, was at 100, and it's still at 100. So this is holding up well. I charge it every night, just put it on the charger when I go to bed, take it off when I'm ready to go in the morning, and it's good to go. As far as performance, well, you've been seeing it the whole time. For the most part, it seems to be performing as you would expect. Occasionally, it's a little bit slow, as you saw there, switching watch faces. But for the most part, it seems to be pretty quick with no issues. So pretty nice update as far as that goes. I think Apple's working on a lot of bugs and getting a lot of things fixed. Within the feedback app, Apple has updated the notes, and I would encourage you to submit feedback if you're having any issues, but be sure to check the notes first. With iOS, there was quite a few fixed issues that they've resolved, and they've also got some known issues that still remain. But as we go through, there's pages and pages of things they've fixed. Everything from core motion APIs to network extension deprecations. They've resolved issues with media. They have new features for networking, and they've resolved a lot of issues with beta sticks. It's getting closer and closer to a final release. So lots of really nice updates as far as that goes, and it should be much more stable. Watch OS 10 in general seems to be more stable than iOS. As far as the next release, well, I would expect iOS 17 beta 7 and also watchOS 10 beta 7 to release probably next Tuesday or Wednesday. Typically, we're at a weekly basis at this point, and then we'll get to the release candidate. Usually by beta 8 or beta 9, we'll be at the release candidate. Maybe we'll have it less than that. We don't really know for sure, but then we should have a final release probably on the week of the 18th. This is what we expect, as we expect Apple to have their event on the 12th for the iPhone and Apple Watch updates with the final release probably on the 18th, and then the iPhone and Watch is going for sale on the 22nd. That's what many people suspect at this point, and it seems likely. So that's everything with WatchOS 10 Beta 6. Some nice little changes, lots of bug fixes, and it seems to be pretty good overall. If you found anything else, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.